Hey guys, welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at the fundamentals of arithmetic. And we'll take a look at a couple surprising results, okay? So crank up Visual Studio and make a new project as we've done before. Console application will suffice. Click OK. Here's our default block. So let's delete everything except system. We don't need that. There you go. <clears throat> okay, now if you want, I will show you something. This is quite helpful. You can do this. If you just like this as in this current form, you can do file, export template. Okay, click yes here. And you see project template, console application 506, click next. Alright, so this would be our like, you know, simple console application like this. Okay, used for learning purposes. The other stuff you can leave, and notice this is going to generate a zip up file, so click finish. Give it a second now, because it's generating a template. There you go. Okay, so now we have a template. Simple console application, and the question is how do you make use of this template? So click this off. Close this solution. Go to File, New, Project. And now from this list of projects, okay, if you scroll through it, on the bottom, see there's a little dude with a picture behind him of some sort, like a rectangle. Click OK. And this will load. You just have to expand the Solution Explorer, open program.cs. You see that? And it loads it for you. So that template has been saved. There you go. Okay, this is a way of doing it. So you've learned something new about templates. I like the feature. And <clears throat> notice that it adds this namespace here, simple console application one. Okay, that's fine for our purposes. But these names are consistent. You see here it's gonna say that, then it says simple console application one. There you go. You can change that if you like. So let's take a look at some basic arithmetic. I will paste some code that I made. And I'm going to say integer x. You're going to set the value to 5. On one line now you're going to declare and initialize these variables. You can definitely do that. 7 and then sum equals x plus y. And close that with a semicolon. So this is how you uh, define a variable like the sum that is a result of the combination of some sort of previous variables. Okay, in this case it's the sum of those two. Okay, so now what we're going to say is console.writeLine and then you'll say the following. Okay, you can say x plus and then here increased by space and then plus y like that, then plus is and then you're going to do another plus and then sum. And close this with a semicolon. There you go. So here, make sure that you have enough pluses present everywhere like that. Let me take this code down below and highlight that out. Okay. So it looks like this. Okay. X plus increased by Y like this. Okay. Let's space this out is and then you will say plus sum okay there you go so remember in this context plus does not mean add the way it does normally it means put together strings for output to the console window okay now remember a string in the general sense is basically a series of characters right a sequence of characters all right so the, let's display this we're going to go with debug and step into and notice i'm not putting console that read or console that read line Notice that first x, y, and sum, each of those is zero. We step into this, initialize x, initialize the y, declare and initialize the sum. There you go. And hit that. And notice that because we're using the debugger, we don't even need the read line or read. You see that? Okay, I've shown you before how to do that, just so you're aware of its existence. But because we are controlling the execution of the program sequentially, we can decide, for example, to stop here, and then we see the cursor flickering on the screen. So 5 increased by 7 is 12. That certainly is correct. Okay. There you go. So now I can hit the brown button to unload. 
Now this is obviously not the only arithmetic operation. Let's take a look at the three other basic ones. So <clears throat> console that right line like this, and again I will I choose to do everything you know live as you see it, and then decreased by from scratch also. I think it's much better, especially if you're running for the first time, to see the code as it's typed. And now I want you to show, try this. You're going to write x minus y close with a semicolon. Okay? So notice in this case, when you try to form the difference of x and y, in other words, x decreased by y is, and then you write x minus y, it's generating an error. You see that? It says over here, uh, that operator, subtraction, cannot be applied to parents of type string and integer. And now what you will do is do this. Okay? All right, that's that. At the next stage, what you're going to do is form the multiplication. Okay? And here, keep in mind that when you enclose an operation between two quantities within parentheses, what is inside is evaluated or performed first, and then that result will be appended to the rest of the string, so it can be produced as output on the window. All right, so from the inside to the outside, that's a general rule in programming and mathematics in most places okay so in our case it means the following we're going to say console that right line and now let's repeat this x and then plus and a space and now you will say multiplied by plus y and then you will say again plus and then is and then plus and then x times y and close out with a semicolon there you go so this forms a product of the two product is another way of saying multiplication and the symbol for that is a little star okay that's how you multiply two quantities there you go and here if you did want to you know stress the multiplication you couldn't close it within parentheses okay but in our case we don't have to and it's kind of interesting that the system knows how to interpret the multiplication symbol, but when you throw in that symbol there, right, you got to put that within parentheses. If you don't do that, you see in a simple example, as you can see, it's generating an error. You see this? Okay, so do it this way to control the way it's evaluated. All right. And the last operation is division, so console, that right line, and you can say here x divided, put a space in here, divided by, and then plus y, and then plus is, and then plus, like that, and now you will say x divided by y, close with a semicolon, there you go, okay? All right, so that is that. Let's give this a go, and remember, because we're doing it with the debugger, we're not going to even worry about uh, read line for now. Give it a build, make sure it takes. And this is build succeeded. Okay? But of course, here, if you go to uh, step into, there you go. Notice at first each of x, y, and the sum is 0. There you go. Right? So declare initialize, declare initialize. If you hover your mouse now over like this addition symbol, you see it says x is 5 y is 7, and the sum is 12. Okay, same thing over here, sum is 12. Hover your mouse over the subtraction, it's negative 2. Multiplication, 35. Notice x divided by y is 0, which doesn't make sense, because this should be some kind of decimal. But that is so, because these data types are integers, and for integers, this particular division symbol simply tells... How many times y goes into x? How many whole y's go into x? Well, 7 doesn't go into 5. Okay? So this result here is 0. But let's print this. So let me hold this up here. And now let's pin this to the screen with the window on top. There you go. Minimize that. All right, execute. So 5 increased by 7 is 12. 5 decreased by 7 is negative 2, 
5 multiplied by 7 is 35, and 5 divided by 7 is 0. In this context, as the vision symbol says, how many times does 7 go into 5? That's 0 times. It doesn't happen. Okay? And then we can unload. And here, further, if you want to now take a look at the effect more vividly, let's do this. Let's do Control c and Control v on this line. And let's change the order here from so they come this way. X comes second, Y comes first, and now we'll take Y on top and X on the bottom. Okay, and let's go debug and step into. You've seen the previous ones already, so that's not nothing new at this point. All right, let's pin this. I like to be very detailed. I don't know not, how not to be detailed. To me, detail is everything. Once the details are in place, everything else emerges very naturally simply by combining details to produce more complex things. All right, so this, this, and this. Next, 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 next. And now if you have your mouse over this symbol, it says 1. Okay? And that is so because 5 goes into 7 one time. That is the meaning of this particular division within the context of integer data types. All right, and it says so. 7 divided by 5 is 1. And notice during this process, these like x minus y times y divided by y or y divided by x, these are not shown, right? They do not exist over here in a locals window. Okay, this is just evaluated in line like that. There you go. So let's unload this from memory. And that is it. So... Remember here, because we don't have console read, if you say, you can also do start without debugging. You see, it will just display all the results. All right, you can do it this way if you want. If you go debug and start debugging. In that case, however, notice that it you know goes through the program quickly. So in that case, console that read or read line might be helpful. Okay, so I will include that to be honest like that. Okay, remember, this is the one that reads a single character. Alright, and that is it. So, thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in another video. And that's it.